This is Mobilveta Designs Kia i85, which has been brought out for the 2023 season. And uh, so this vehicle here, it claims to be a high performer of the newest generation. Okay, right, I shall have refrain from making any comments. Uh, this thing here costs in excess of 92,000 euros. It is, um, it is, it is, it is. Uh, where's the length of it? There's something wrong with me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm not thinking about it. 747 centimeters by 235, 295 in height. And uh, so I see I, I dirtied my hand when I when I stuck it uh, near a battery this morning. Right, you've got this enormous bed up there, which looks really good. And I've got to say one thing about Movileta. The design really is stupendous. I mean, it looks wonderful inside. And uh, the problem is it's one of quality. Anyway, I dare say we may see signs of that whilst looking around this vehicle. Of course, this vehicle has been here now for one week. And so people have had a chance to actually cause damage to it. This one here seems to be, to me, in pristine condition. Let's see what we can do with it. Well, first thing I note is that, okay, it's a German layout. And uh, let's look under the bed. Um, uh, so we've got storage under there, a little bit under there. Let's see how what we can do with it. Um, first of all, let's see if I can lift the whole thing up. And now I find the first problem. Okay, there's a problem under the bed with the... Okay, this is this is supposed to lift. But I think, ah, sorry, it is. It is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was my fault, not, not that of mobile letters, mine. See, storage under there. This can be quite useful. Of course, it is better if it's got a light so you can see what's going on. And uh, let's see if this uh, opens up okay. Right, so you can see where the storage is. Of course, a light would be appreciated. Now, we are in a hall in here, uh, so um, that uh, does make it worse. On the other hand, it might be night uh, when this is being used, so, that, uh, so that's going to make it even more difficult. Now, on the subject of design, I would suggest a light uh, in the drawers, particularly as one open, opens them. That would be nice. Here, there's storage in there. Well, so storage is no problem. It's a problem of being able to see what you're doing. There you go, plenty of light there, isn't it? <laughs> Although that's the light from outside. This is the way into the garage, which I think that's really good. I think that's, I like that. Uh, it saves you having to go out to get things out the garage when it's raining. Uh, and also note this, there's proper sides to the drawers. I do appreciate that. All right, I'll put this thing here down if I can. I'm putting it down now. Oh, right, okay, good. Went down, okay. This is for the German layout. We've put this in here to make the bed. Unfortunately, I haven't got the plate to make it with. Oh, can you see that? Is that okay? All right, so something like something like that. Gives you, gives you the general idea. Let's have a look under this bed. Okay, so you can see the wardrobe there. Uh, now, uh, I know that opening wardrobes for um, is a bit uh, it's a bit difficult if you do it via the bed. But bear in mind, this is a motorhome which is less than seven and a half meters long, so really uh, space is a, a bit at a premium. Wonderful rear display in my opinion. Storage is okay, not, not bad at all. Although down here, oh dear, what's that? I can't believe that that's supposed to be broken like that. 
Can you see that? Look. Is, is, is that really the way it's meant to be? I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe they're all like this, is it? Or something. Yeah. That's, unfortunately, it's broken. Yeah. Uh, it shouldn't be like that. I think. I think. Uh, could be. Could be wrong. Don't know. Uh, right. Windows at either side and storage up there. And uh, here we've got uh, got the lights. Let's see if the lights work. Yep, they certainly do. And oh, and they certainly work as well. Good. And right now, uh, if you want to close off uh, the front of the vehicle, you can do it like this. Well, that worked. That's quite good. So the gap seems to be a bit different, but as you go down, but hey, that, that's good. Right then, good, well done. Well done. A bit noisy. Uh, right, a lovely washroom. I do get a nice washroom from Mobile Veta. I, I like the sauna look. And you get these, uh, look, the lights are great. I like the logo in there. I think that looks really quite good. A nice big uh, uh, toilet. You've got storage behind the mirror. Oh yes, that's, uh, I mean, that that is elegant. It's, uh, something like this is, is totally impractical in a motorhome. There's a huge sink as well. Uh, I mean, you probably end up doing the washing up in here. Right, so in here we have got, uh, right, there's a kitchen, three burners, that's okay, no problem there. This looks nice, it's been very nicely set up, this one. And, okay, there's a good large sink. The drainage is, uh, unfortunately, the, the, a small one for which you can't find things to a net or anything, but other than that, that's okay. And down here we've got, yeah, proper drawers notice. Anybody here is from the Heimer group, for example, even their most expensive vehicles don't have proper drawers in them. Uh, we'll open this. Well, that sounded a bit dodgy. And this, okay, right, this um, pull-out thing, pull-out uh, unit, um, goes right to the very back. Good note often they don't in other vehicles and that's okay uh that sound doesn't sound oh dear that doesn't sound too good uh, and uh it's possibly me but that doesn't look straight um never mind uh Big fridge, three-way fridge, means it uses gas as well. Okay, and at the front, we've got this uh, really attractive setup. Um, the thing about an integrated vehicle, you've got this wonderful, uh, huge uh, panoramic view up front. This is on a Fiat means that unfortunately uh, waiting times are very long indeed i'd be surprised if anybody got this before 2024 now i don't know if that matches or it doesn't match somebody who knows more about uh, things uh about this type of thing uh matching units will perhaps be able to say looks a bit odd to me this should open as well. Oh yeah, I think it. I think it looks really good. I don't know how practical it is. No. No. Um, there's a door at this side as well. 
I have noticed that more and more integrated vans seem to be having a door on the driver's side, having had a, um, a few years when there wasn't one. Personally, I prefer them without the door on the driver's side. Right, now the bed will come down. It's, fortunately, it's not electric, which is a good, a good thing. Now, to get the, door, the, the bed to come down, we would have to put the seats down, uh, which in this case, uh, as I've only got one hand, uh, I'm not going to do. But I am going that. I am going to show you, however, how big the bed is. So you've got this like curtain uh, all the way around, which holds holds the thing up, and so it's a really big bed. There's also a net under it as well, so uh, it's designed to stop it, stop you falling out of bed. Should you uh, think there's any chance of you falling out of bed? Good, right. Um, so you've got the good and the bad with the mobile bed there. Lots. Of, um, it, it really is a pity because the design is outstanding. But there's, there's these little details and things that don't work at all. Oh, it's a double floor, as you'd expect at this price level. Bit of storage down there. We'll have a look on the outside as far as is possible there will be uh, more information in the description and if there isn't uh, then you can and you want more information then uh, ask for it and I'll sort that one out sometimes uh, um, it's not always possible to put information in the description uh, due to time constraints for example now I'm here at this trade fair I haven't I'm not taking because of difficulty of bringing the computer in uh, and uh, internet access um, I can't I, I can only write uh, using my telephone and that takes ages so there won't be much of a description but once I've got my computer I can actually do that that's the water release we've got these um, uh, lashing uh, uh, ringlets there which I think are very handy. Two gas bottles. That would go for ages. I mean, this does have the double floor. Uh, so, uh, good. Thanks for watching. That is the Mobile Vetter Kia i85 introduced for 2023. And uh, I think that's a well, you have my opinions there because it's got the good things and the bad things. Thanks very much for watching.